So in this case study, we're going to take a look at an issue that can occur if you try and migrate a vCenter server without first migrating its accompanied PSE. So as we explained in a previous module, if you have an external PSE, you must migrate or upgrade that PSE first to vSphere 6.5 before migrating its attached vCenter server. If you do, however, try and launch the migration assistant on the vCenter server, you'll be presented with the following error message. And it'll tell you in plain English that the remote platform service controller at the particular FQDN has not been upgraded or migrated to version 6.5. So this is very straightforward but common occurring issue. You can also see this message in the migration assistant.log. So it says in plain English that we must first migrate or upgrade the platform service controller to vSphere 6.5 first. And once all our PSEs are on 6.5, we can then migrate the vCenter server. So that concludes this case study. I hope you enjoyed this video.